Good day, my client and investor. It's still your preferred realtor, surveyor Adebola Daniel. Outside being the fact that I am a registered surveyor, um, which we call a licensed surveyor in Nigeria, I'm also into um, getting you a better space, space like land. Um, space like home where you can actually buy because um, in this current dispensation it is more faster and more easier for people to go into buying house or land majorly when it comes to um, re uh, return on investment Nobody have time of saying, okay, let me build and sell. Many, we, most especially are people on the diaspora. That is, um, mainly US, UK, European country, Canada, Asia, Malaysia, Turkey, and all. So they always prefer, okay, we've seen this building and I love it. Let me buy it, use it for Airbnb and use it buy just buy hold it for like maybe six months and sell it or maybe you buy an off plan at a pre-launch price which is very very affordable then at the finish of that same product that product will have um increased by some 200 percent some more than that so selling a new fresh building at uh, the final stage the advantage you earn is that you will get your money once not like when you are paying instrumental now i just i just digress to that area basically i'm into real estate and i'm a licensed surveyor here in nigeria and i can practice anywhere in nigeria but i base in lagos Island to be precise. Now, today I really want to talk about a topic which is Is it profitable to buy land from a Monile or buy from in the real estate companies? Or we can put it this way What is the uh, benefit of buying from? Or money leg, which is our usual contemporary method and what is the advantage of buying from real estate company or the difference between buying from real estate company and buying from a money leg. um i will not i will not speak from the real estate aspect of it but i will speak from the aspect of the fact that i am a registered surveyor as a surveyor I've consulted for many people, those who bought their land individually, those who bought from the company that the company gave to us. We've done a series of jobs and they are all fantastic. But this is it. From the aspect of a surveyor, buying land from a monile is good. Number one is because you are going to get it more cheaper than of real estate. No doubt. If real estate is selling land for six million, if you are buying direct from Omonile, you can get it for four million, which is very fine. But there is something I need to let you know, which many people are not always seeing, but they are seeing the advantage in the price, forgetting what is behind the advantage of that price that you are taking up. Now, a quick one is that when you are buying land value from real estate company for six million naira they sell for six million naira they will tell you to survey deed of assignment and developmental fee after paying these three charges let's assume you bought the land for six million you pay all those charges equivalent to one million or 1.5 that is 7.5 million the total value for the land including documentation seal and no doubt now 
maybe in the next one year or two years, that land that you secure from real estate companies for uh, 7.5, depending on the inflation and the migration of people coming to that environment, when you see that, okay, this, this environment, people have been migrating down here and there are more development in this area. You can sell that property for 15 million. It can even go as high as 20 million. Some might even go up to 30 million. With that, you make profit and no stress. Let's look at the aspect of the Omonile, which is the contemporary method in which you buy that land for 4 million. There is one thing I need to pay attention to right now. If you buy that land for 4 million naira and you are not doing anything on that land, I can guarantee you that you lose that 4 million. Why? Because when you leave that land vacant, you are not doing anything on it. The same people that sell that land to you will look at that land again and if there is another offer for it, they will sell it to another person. And if you come back fighting for your land, they can decide to relocate you somewhere else if there is another land. Because the idea of getting the money back is zero. Even if you have a military officer, even if you are a major general, the worst thing is that you can only discipline them, you can only um, suffer them. But you can never get your money back. But they can relocate you to another place. But it's not going to be the choice where you see and you love and you buy. Another thing is, let's assume you pay for that 4 million and you need to do something on that land. The first thing is you need to pull the fence and the gate. Do the cost estimation of that fence and the gate. That might be up to another 3 million or 2.5 depending on the size of that land. Because remember, if you are buying one plot, you have a certain number of blocks that will cover one plot. If you are buying two plots, that will be times two. If you are buying three plots, that will be times three. If you are buying four plots, that will be times four. Now, let's assume in you are buying from real estate. They tell you to pay 600000 for developmental fee. Developmental fee means that for the four plots, you are paying uh, 600 times four. That should be 2.4 million naira. Can you use 2.4 million naira to fence your property to seven or eight coaches and you will also put the gate that is one condition the second condition is that you have to start building immediately but in a situation where you start building immediately remember they sold the land for you for four million and you want to start building immediately so if you are doing the fencing, it's part of your expenses for your building, which is very nice. The second one is the moment you start foundation, the same people that sold the land for you is coming back. And remember, they do not have a fixed price. They look at you, they study you, and they see that, oh, this is a very rich man. This man can afford two million, and they will be with two million for money for foundation maybe you negotiate here back and forth you arrive at one million you pay one million at the foundation level remember all the workers that work for you from bricklayer carpenter name them they are going to charge them respectively they are going to pay their money respectively that is not your own cost but it's a side payment now when you get to the the roof level before you start anything on the roof you will need to pay another money again and they will come and if you don't pay you will not do that job even get angry from now today till tomorrow even till the next year it is your issue it is not their problem whenever anytime you come back you want to do that job you will pay Let's assume in, you also pay one million naira. That is two million naira, one million for foundation, one million for roofing. It goes like that, like that, like that, like that. 
let's assume in, okay maybe you want to go uh one story building you will pay for foundation you will pay for decking and you also pay for roofing that is three times so imagine you buy the land for four million and you are building one story building which you are going to pay one million times three that is seven million all other charges little ones here and there sum everything together let's say probably eight million or nine million outside of the structure that you are putting on ground which is the original value for the money now let's look at another thing maybe you just buy that land you do the fencing maybe you you spend close to four millionaires fencing a four plot of land and you buy a plot for one million uh, for four million euro. that will be approximately 20 million right which is a very fantastic one 20 million euro. in the next three years maybe you want to sell that land remember because that environment is not a secured environment is not a secured estate many of your clients will even be pricing you down because you know why the development in that environment is not smart it's not uniformly not like an estate whereby when you are buying the land and you want to start building they tell you buy and build they will give you exact structure that you need that they want on their estate so that means if you buy from estate Let's assume you buy for 4 million per plot, which is 16 million. You pay developmental fee, maybe uh, three, um, let's say several thousand. That's uh, about 2.8 million. Survey, survey is normal. Either from a money layer or from anybody, you pay for survey. And when you pay for survey, summation of everything, let's assume you spend 22 million naira for estates. But because of the uniformism, and the security uh, architecture in that environment anybody that wants to buy doesn't think twice they just want to confirm from the estate are you the true subscriber of that land and once they confirm and is a done deal you can sell any amount so now from my own analysis and for from my previous experience asking me which one is the best to buy from real estate or to buy from a money lay. I will choose real estate because one, <clears throat> real estate is going to give you peace of mind. When you are, and remember, even in real estate, you can pay instrumentally by paying small, small till you finish your payment. That might tend to one year. You can't try that with a money lay. If you try that with a money lay, you will lose that, you lose that money and you also lose the land. That's the fact. So that means buying from real estate will give you peace of mind. Buying from real estate will give you comfort. Buying from real estate will give you security. Buying from real estate will give you affordability. So why didn't you buy from real estate? The only condition that I will put as a tag before buying from real estate is that when you see the land that you love <clears throat> from real estate please call your surveyor and we are available for you make sure you call a licensed surveyor to do the search do the land verification for you to make sure that okay the, the title they told you that that land has is actually what it has so long you are buying from real estate, um, the proof of ownership has a weight but not so so strong because you are buying from a reputable company. But the true authenticity of the land information, call your surveyor to do it for you. And if your surveyor gives you a green light to go ahead to secure it, you, you know you can do it small small you can pay instrumentally so on this reason and i will stand to let you know if i'm stand to be corrected 
that buying from real estate will give you and will do you a lot of good than buying from a monile. If you are buying from a monile, be ready to do a good fight. Yes. So, this is where I will, I will round up with that always remember to buy your land from a real estate company because it will give you comfort, it will give you rest of mind, the security architecture is sound and you, are, you can even pay small, small, which you cannot get from a money lender. And if you are at a selling point, you have at liberty to sell at your price. For the fact that it is an estate, you are going to get a good deal for it because everybody loves to live within an estate setting because of the security architecture and the comfortability there. So on this note, I want to say thank you for listening to me. My name remains over here, Adebola Daniel, and when it comes to land search or you need a land around Lagos to be precise, Abuja, uh, feel free to dial the number on your screen and talk to us, or you can check us on all social platforms, talking about the Instagram, talking about Facebook, talking about the LinkedIn, Twitter, and all at ADB Property. And our website is www.adbproperties.ng.com. Till I come your way again, please remember to subscribe to this channel and also um, turn up the notification button so that whenever I upload a new video, you will quickly be alerted to see it. God bless you. God bless your home. God bless your work. God bless your family. Till we see again. God bless you. Thank you.